Good morning, good morning. Just waiting for Andrea to go live so we can invite her. There we go, we're just texting to make sure we're <laughs> on the same page. How's everyone's morning going? She should be on in any second. Just gonna get my other device here so I can see what we're doing. See comments and things like that. We're gonna be painting birds today. I was almost late in joining this because I got so obsessed with painting these little birds. We're gonna be doing, well, we're gonna be doing them two different ways. I don't know how Andrea is gonna be doing them, so I'm excited to actually paint with her too and paint her tutorial. But then we'll also be doing one with me and we're gonna be using dice to decide the bird shapes and things like that. So just kind of waiting, hold on. Good morning, good morning. Still waiting for her to join. Let's see. I guess it's also good afternoon, good day, wherever you are. I know there are people joining from all over. There we go. Here's Andrea. Editor, she'll be here in just a second. <laughs> good afternoon. Hi. Hi. I haven't talked to you all day. I know. <laughs> I was like, did I get it wrong? Did I forget? No. No, I no. started painting birds this morning, and then I all of a sudden looked at my clock, and it was like, it's 10.20, and I'm still in my pajamas, and I have to show people my face. I need to um, fix that immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had, thankfully, I had a lot of orders to fill this morning, and then I was like, I got to get to the post office because it closes at noon on Saturday. So, yeah. So I got up and did orders and then went to the post office. And then I painted some birds. And it has not been going great. Because <laughs> I keep trying to think about, like, how, how to explain it. Because I've never really done, like, a um, tutorial on mm -hmm. birds. So I was like, how am I going to break this down into, like, steps and I don't know I don't I don't know I don't know how it's gonna go I made some crazy looking birds this morning so all right I don't know. yeah so um do you want to start or do you want me to start or what do you want to do whatever you want to do because I was just thinking we'll just do we'll try to do like 30 minutes mm -hmm. each and then see how it goes um yeah. Hi, everybody. Somebody said, I feel like I'm at a concert. <laughs> <laughs> if you only knew, like, how, like, dorky we are, you wouldn't <laughs> care. <laughs> I mean, the closest to a concert I get is I make up songs for Moogie about everything she's doing. <laughs> Same. Same. Steven's like, the other day, he was like, I heard you singing the best friend song to the dog again. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> I So one of the things I'm most mad of myself for a while, I had, like, the perfect song for Mogi. And, like, it was for weeks that I would sing this song to Mogi, and it was, like, her theme song. And then all of a sudden, it just left my brain. Oh, no. And so now I don't remember what it was. I can't remember it. No. That's, like, Wes and I used to do... Um, like, this is, like, when he was, like, late teenage years. Like, he was not a small child by any stretch. But, like, when we would cook together, we had this whole intro to the Wesley cooking show. And it had, it had a, a really, like, lame name. It was something dumb. It was, like, and now we're cooking with Wes and Mom. And, like, neither one of us can remember what it was now. Oh, which is no. sad. It's sad. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just start. Do you want to start? I feel I'll, like you're... I can start, and I'm going to have to flip my camera so that yeah. uh, people can see a little better. I wonder 
how to do that. So just so you, just as a quick overview, hi everyone, my name is Lacey, I'm the artist behind Rebel Unicorn Crafts, and I'm joined today by the lovely and beautiful Andrea Nelson, and we're going to be painting birds today. We're going to be both doing a tutorial, so you're going to see two different ways, because one of the things that we like about art is that there's no one right answer to anything, and so we want to show you both of our methods. They're probably going to be different. Well, I know they're going to be different because mine involve dice, and I don't think Andrea's do. <laughs> but no, um, I don't have so, any props. I'm already losing the. I'm already <laughs> losing bird war. <laughs> I don't think you're losing the bird war at all. So, anyways, Just but kidding. if anybody gets like motion sickness or anything, I'm going to be trying to move my camera so that you guys can see down a little bit better just because it works a little bit better that way for me. And then uh, when Andrea is painting, I'll bring it back here and I'm gonna be doing the tutorial too. And I'm so excited. Well, so, okay, that was gonna be my next question. And mm -hmm. I love how like professional and like official you are. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know. I, yeah, <laughs> this is why you're good at this, the doing the classes. And this is why I don't do classes because I would be on telling stories about my kids and not focus. <laughs> Um, so the question was, that had I had in my brain was, do you think I should flip my camera so that they can see me painting? Or do you think it'll be distracting and it's better if we just paint along, but like you be the, the down view? I what do you think? I hadn't really thought about it, but my general hunch or feeling, maybe we can let people comment, but I was kind of thinking the person who was teaching could have their camera down. Okay. And then the other one painting, but I'm okay. happy I, to see what other people say. Sunny says they yeah. want to watch both. Do you mean both down or both? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they may want to watch me struggle through the learning <laughs> process with them. I don't know. Or it might be confusing for people that are like just joining in midway to know who's teaching the thing so what if I maybe I'll do it just like like that like down where you can kind of see it we'll just start and then right, yeah I'm seeing I'm seeing uh, most people are saying both camera down which is also kind of nice because then my face can do whatever it wants to <laughs> my face always does whatever it wants to <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm gonna start by switching mine down. If anybody gets motion sickness, just wait for a second. So here we go. We're going on an adventure. Woo! Both mine are all set. Both. Oh, we're really mine going on an adventure. Down too. Let's see if we can get you to see my. Um... I gotta. How do I? Can I switch this down? I'm trying to flip the camera view. Let's see. I oh. know that's what I'm just trying to figure out. Hold on. Sorry, you're really getting um, settings. Comments. I'm trying to figure out too. Anybody? Anybody know? Um, right. Double tap. Anybody know how to flip the camera? I just liked my own video. That's nice. <laughs> I did the That's same really thing. Nice. <laughs> Double. <laughs> That's what double tapping does. All right. I'm going to um, have to. Yeah. On a dual live, I just don't know how yeah. to do it. I've got it on my iPad, too. So I'm going to be able to flip mine down. I just won't be able to look at the screen. I'll have to look at, at it through the iPad. Um. Somebody said the infinity symbol, but she hasn't been live for a long time. Yeah, there's the infinity symbol just says is like disconnect with the co-host or go back. Um, yeah, I don't see any way to flip the camera. I guess people don't do lives together where they're not facing each other. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'm going to have to. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Here's what here's what I think. I'm going to keep it facing me so that while while Lacey's painting so that I can maybe try to address comments since she's not going to be able to see them. Perfect. Lacey, does that sound good? Yeah. And that then 
Someone just said, I think it might be stuck however you started. Yeah, you can't flip without restarting, someone else said. All right. Okay. Well, I've got a workaround here. So what we're going to be doing today, if anybody is nervous about drawing, it's okay. If you are capable of making this type of a shape or this type of a shape or this type of a shape or this type of a shape, you're going to be just fine. Basically, what we're going to be doing, I've got these here, is my little rolls. We're actually going to be starting here, and we're going to determine each one of these. You can see my all my little sketches here as far as, like, how I got to the bird shapes. So, I can't tell. Does it have, it's got the, the um, shoot. By having it this way, it's got the text flipped the wrong way around. That is well, I was just going to say, too, I was just going to say, um, because it's the dual screen thing, it's very small. And okay. it's very, like, I, there's no way I could read it. So, all right. So, I'll, I think I'll just gotta... tell you guys what I do roll. In general, what we're going to be choosing between are like round, square, oval, tufts, or um, horizontal, vertical, that type of a thing. And then as far as the beak shapes, we've got long and sharp, long, dull, huge, short, sharp, dull, or hooked, and that type of thing. So I'll roll. This is on here in case you guys want a screenshot and then somehow figure out how to reverse it. This is a real bungle. We should have started with down, but oh well. So we're going to start with the head shape for our first one here. And I'm actually going to be... What painting... size paper should we have, Lacey? What size paper? Whatever size you want. I'm going to be painting on just a little corner here. I'm going to be painting this kind of here. So it's about a four by six area I'm going to be painting in. So for, first of all, we're going to roll for the head shape. So we're going to have a r small round head. Okay. So, so we're drawing this out in pencil first. So you might want to just wait for a second because I'm going to go through this okay. again. So we've got a small round and then the body shape is going to be a plump circle. So in general, I'm going to talk about how to actually do this a little better in a second, but I just want to remember what I got. The beak shape is going to be a long, dull shape. Okay. And the tail shape is going to be really colorful. So I can kind of make it whatever shape I want, but it's going to be really colorful. All right, so let's actually draw this. Now, I find it easiest to draw birds when they're on like a little branch. And in general, I'm going to be drawing a lot darker than what you guys should be drawing so that you can't see your pencil lines. But for your benefit so that you can actually see, I will be drawing this here. So I'm going to start by kind of marking out where my little branch is going to be. And make sure you guys can see that. And then... When we're thinking about birds, no matter what shape it is, the top and the body are going to slightly overlap, depending on how much they have their neck tucked in. So I usually like to start with the body shape, and we had a nice plump um, bird. So I'm going to start with a circle that's going to kind of meet up to where that bottom branch is. So here's going to be my nice plump circle. And just draw a nice circle right there. Doesn't need to be perfect, just a circle. And then we have a little small round head. Now we can put this in any place we want. We want these to kind of overlap like we're making a super itty bitty Venn diagram, but depending on the face you, which way you want it facing is where you're going to place that head. So if you want the beak to pop out here, you're gonna place the head a little bit off center to that side or verse, vice versa over here. Or if you wanna do the beak in the middle, you're just gonna place it in the middle. I feel like I want this one facing in this direction. So I'm going to make his little head here. See how it's overlapping just a little bit there. Are we supposed to be drawing this along with you or is this just an example? Because it's really, really small. Everybody's having a hard time seeing it. Okay, let's start over. I'll make it okay. bigger. Okay. So I'm going to start again with this and we're just, we'll just do one bird at a time. Okay. All right, so let's start. We'll make him bigger. Yeah, I forgot since that usually people can see stuff that size, but since it's half the screen or less than, I'll try right. to make these bigger. Okay, so this is a learning process for us because we've <laughs> never done one where we actually like paint together. So it's so there's stuff to yeah think about for next time. But yeah, go. Okay. Doing All a right. great job. 
So let's make this one bigger. So here we've got a nice circle. This is his plump body. Then I'm going to do the little head right over here overlapping. I hope this is a little bit better. So see it's overlapping just a bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to erase in between there. And see, this isn't going to erase super well for me because I'm drawing much harder. You want to draw a lot lighter. And we're going to soften right here on the edges. So it kind of like the body comes together. Okay? okay. Now, this one is going to have a long, dull beak. So I'm going to have this just popping out, maybe coming down a little bit here. So I'm going to make it real long, make it dull. And it's going to go right here. Oh, this is going to be a cute little, little guy. And then I'm just going to erase anywhere there's kind of overlapping. See how we already have a bird in general? Now, because he's facing this way, we're more than likely going to see a little wing kind of here. So just kind of make note of that. And let's make his tail sticking out kind of here, bringing it down from the body. And let's make his tail a little bit long. And then the good news is, is the little feet, we're eventually just going to make some little, like, little C shapes right on there. His eye will also go right about here. <laughs> this is going to be a funny looking bird. But I, I like him already. All right. This is what mine looks like so far. So mine does not look like exactly like Lacey's. And that is okay. It is. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. It's so. a kiwi bird. Somebody said it's a kiwi bird. Somebody said it's a dodo bird. Mine does, mine does look like a dodo bird. <laughs> now, for the colors, we're gonna, I'm going to choose our colors first. I'm going to pick two colors. So for my roll number one, I've got blue. And my roll number two, red. All right. We're going to have some interesting color combinations here. Now, with watercolor, I always consider white as an option because the paper is white, so we can take advantage of that. But I'm going to be doing a blue and red bird. If you want to change the colors, that's totally fine. I just, that's what the dice told me to do, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, the colors and the paints you're going to use don't really matter that much on this, so use whatever colors and paints you want. Um, I'm going to be playing with my handmade paints today just because I've been kind of having fun painting with those this morning. So I'm going to continue to do that. If you are using any sort of dried watercolors, you want to go ahead and just give them a nice spritz or drop some water on them so that they're going to reactivate. Wet your paints. Wet your paints. <clears throat> and then... You can either start by putting just water over everything in the body except for the beak. That is how you can start this if you want to. Um, but I'm actually going to make a light wash of blue so that you guys can see where I'm placing the water down. It's not going to be a super dark one. And if you're going to do a wash of a color, make it kind of a light and pretty, um, pretty uh, thinned out with water color. But this is just so that you guys can see. So I'm going to go ahead and place this color all over anywhere where that bird is going to have any sort of feathers or colors. And you can go ahead and just add water to your brush if you want to add like a highlight kind of towards the back where it's going to be lighter. We're going to be working on this a little bit more in a second. But again, I'm putting this all down just so that it's a little bit easier for you guys to see where my water goes. So I'm going to place that all the way down. Now, I'm going to take a slightly darker blue for this. Now, you could place your colors and feathers wherever you want them to be. But I'm going to start emphasizing the areas that are going to kind of indent in, meaning the round areas under the wing right here. And then also this little neck area, because they usually kind of like hunch their heads in and there's kind of like a little bit of a, a space there, convex space. So I put some darker blue in my brush just a little bit and I'm just going to tap right kind of at the neck point here. And I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. Just kind of tapping that color in and along where 
that wing is. See how I've got it kind of just tapped in there? Then I'm going to wash my brush and dry it so that I can lightly just kind of push these two together. Just kind of help the transitions. The other thing I can do is wash my brush, dry it, and I can try to lift out some color from the more bulbous areas. And now I'm going to drop in, a, you could either wait to drop in reds once everything is dry, or you could do this now. I'm going to do a little bit of it now. I think I'm going to make the primary point where he is red on his um, wing, and then maybe a little touch of it on like the back of his neck or the top of his neck. So this is still kind of wet, so it's going to spread a bit but it's starting to dry a little bit more and I'm just gonna make some little like brush shapes in here. On his little wing, we can come back in and change this if we want later. I'm also gonna to touch that just right at the top of his head. Just give him a little color and maybe, oh, we also said it was a really, really colorful tail. So let's concentrate most of this red on the tail. Really colorful tail. <laughs> yeah, this is a little plump birdie. And I'm going to I'm going to drop in just a little more of that dark blue while this is still wet just in a couple of those areas where I want it to be a little darker. We're kind of creating some shadowing. We're kind of creating a little bit of um, dimension. Not a ton, but, you know, a little bit. And I'm going to kind of also do that right at the bottom part of this tail, just so it kind of looks like it's a little bit in shadow. And then at this point, I'm going to kind of just let this sit. And then I'm going to revisit this once it is dry. Um, I know you guys are probably catching up. But what I want to do is let's do another one where we do the dice roll so that we can see. Andrea, where are you at so far in your little birdie? Um, I'm, I'm right there with you. He's, mine is, wait, mine is a lot wetter. Okay. Like I, I I put a lot more water down and I think I tend in general to use a lot more paint than you do. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to pick mine up and it's going to kind of like. Yeah. I mean, you, you can wait for a second. I can kind of see him. Oh, he's so cute. Well, I don't know about that. My, my blue and my red have mixed on his tail and it's looking kind of black. It's a little, it's very dark purple. So it's not going to be super colorful, but it's going to be fine, guys. It's, it's going to be fine. totally fine. All right, yeah. let's do another one while, while we're waiting for this one to kind of like chill out for a second. So I'm going to roll again. I know, I know you guys can't totally see this, but I'm going to put it here just in case you want to kind of check me. We're going to have a vertical oval shape for our head. Our body is going to be small compared to the head. Okay, this could be kind of funny. And then our beak is going to be a hooked beak. Okay. <laughs> and it's going to have a fan-shaped tail. All right, this one could be kind of funny looking. I'm already liking him. All right, so again, I'm going to start by making my um, little area here. I think, I think this is in frame for you guys. It takes a while for my iPad to catch up with what's actually happening. And then we're going to start again with the body because we want to make sure it's easier for us on the feet just so that we don't kind of ruin the whole thing by trying to paint really long feet in here. And I'm going to start with a little kind of circle-y, oval -y shape right here, resting right on there. Next, we want a bigger circle. And this one, let's make him so he's kind of like looking... I'm going to have him looking this other way. So his head is going to be, let's have him over this way. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a funny looking bird. I've got him barely overlapping. Again, I'm going to kind of smooth those together. 
And I'm going to have him kind of looking up and over here, and we're going to give him that hooked beak. Ooh, I don't actually like that right there. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Let's bring it here. So is it, his head is supposed to be bigger than his body? Is that yes, what we're, is that in general. Oh, or at least boy. small in comparison to the body. Like, you know, this one, this one, his head is teeny tiny. And this one, it's not as teeny. So, it's, so this kind of looks a little bit like a parrot, I kind of feel like here. I think mine is going to be an imaginary bird. I don't think this bird actually. <laughs> in oh, I'm sorry. I went small again, guys. I'm sorry. It's apparently my tendency to draw a little bit smaller normally. Do you guys want me Somebody to start doesn't... drawing this over again, or is this one going to work? Someone said it's an Olaf bird, and okay. that's what mine. That's what mine looks like for sure. I've got quite a few people who say a gourd bird. <laughs> Somebody says Goid Boyd. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Right. Boy, this is something. This All right. Guy. <laughs> so, and then we're going to have a little fan shaped tail just poking out here. His little feetsies are going to be right here. And, you know, you can, you can do whatever you want on this. You could keep the little like wings right in by the body. If you wanted to like kind of get a little creative, like maybe they were stretching out, you could do something like that. I'm not going to just because I feel like I'm going to screw that up. Um, and this bird is already really funny looking, so I'm gonna keep my little goid boyd real. This is what my simple. like so far. I don't know. I'm not good. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, not great. Not great with the drawing. So. <laughs> All right. Somebody did ask me to draw larger. What I'm gonna do is actually just bring the camera a little bit closer. All right. Hopefully, I won't knock that with my brush. And hopefully, that's a little bit better all right here's our here's our little guy all right now we got to pick the colors so the first color we're going to get is yellow and then we're going to have orange orange and yellow it kind of okay. works it's kind of parrot like i like sure. that so again, and we're going to start with that wash of color over everything. If you have drawn, you want to kind of erase some of your pencil lines. I'm not going to, so you guys can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to start with a light yellow-esque wash. I think I'm going to lean more towards kind of like a yellow ochre kind of a color. For the body? Yeah. I'm going bright yellow. Go bright. Do it. Go bright. So I'm going to put that down. Toucan Sam. Toucan Sam. Oh, I like it. All right. All right. So we've got our yellow on the body. Oh, I'm sorry. This is like not in frame. This is hard when I can't see the screen. <laughs> Usually I feel like I've got so much more control. Yeah. All right. Then I'm going to, I'm going to lift out a little bit from the tops and then let's lift out a little from the front part here and I've got some bird pictures I printed out here just so we can kind of take a look at where they often have their different coloring so this is um, a type of kingfisher here you can see he has a little bit of different coloring right here and right in the front on these like parakeets, it's heavily on their chin where a lot of the variation occurs. And it's kind of the same on some of these or this little woodpecker. We actually have these woodpeckers right by where I live. Yeah, we have them too. They pecked my house. I had really? holes in my house. Yeah. Oh, we had no. holes in the porch columns from the woodpeckers. We just had them repaired. And I hear them out there pecking all the time. But they're so pretty and so I feed them but it's a vicious cycle that's a vicious <laughs> so for people that maybe don't know how to lift color yeah um, on my you. if you want to take color out of watercolor once you've put it down on the paper just take your brush and take a towel or a paper towel and dry your brush mm -hmm. and then your brush will kind of like soak up some of that paint and water and that's what's called lifting. So 
that's that's that yeah uh, Mike birds he's crazy he's he's not I'm going to yeah. concentrate a little bit of, I'm going to do kind of what they were doing on um, those pictures where I'm going to put a little bit right by the eye and then I'm going to kind of concentrate it on the neck and in the center. And that, I waited for a bit and I put a little too much down. And if you do that, it's totally fine. All I did was kind of like what Andrea just talked about. I washed my brush, I dried it off, and now I can kind of just soften those areas together. It's going to lift up a little bit of that extra pigment that I placed down, and I can kind of just work this in a little. What bit. if I go crazy and I don't, and I want pink, and I don't care what the dice say? I just want pink. Do it. I yeah, I feel like this could use a little more color. Yeah. Here, I'm okay. going to add some pink too. Let's go crazy together. Okay. Excellent. Going wild. That's that is what I wanted to hear. I'm going to put some pink on the wings, too. I'm just going to add a bunch of variation. This is a very bright and tropical bird. And he don't care about your rules. No, he doesn't. He's never heard of dice. He's just living his best tropical life. Are we going to do ink on top of this? Yes. Okay. I'm also going to put... Feeling... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're fine. Uh, um, yeah, we're going to be doing some ink. We're going to add in another bit of details on the other one too um once these dry so i'm just gonna i'm just coming in here with some of these colors have we done the beak yet we haven't done the beak yet right nope i'm waiting to do that until the second round which we're actually going to switch back over to the first bird again so we can add okay. more details and things like that perfect okay so here's our big plump bird I, I want to hold this bird. I don't know why, but I just want it like resting in my palm. Just very nice. nice. It would be, you'd need both hands. <laughs> I actually do not think mine is quite dry yet. Um, and that's okay. If it's not completely dry, we've got a couple options here. One is okay. mine is not completely dry and I can tell because it's the paper is still kind of bulbed up, but I don't have any standing water and it is kind of dry to the touch. So if you're at that point, you can move on to this next step. If you've got standing water or it's like really wet and if you were to touch it, you would pick up the pigment, then this would be a good time for you to take a second and actually dry off the painting. Um, and you can either just put it in the sun, you can wait, or you can use something like a hair dryer or a... Um, heat gun okay so people some people were asking questions about the brushes and the um and the palette so i have a number eight princeton round brush and i'm using a koi uh pan set and i'm using my wonder brush and then i'm also using my handmade watercolor paints um that all the all the different colors that I've ever made just to kind of play with them a bit so in general one thing you can also see is like handmade watercolor paints they do act in some ways a little different um oftentimes depending on the color and the pigment to something like koi so they are going to be sit a little bit more in certain areas they also might be a little more granulating than something like koi Although not if you're comparing, like, if you compare this blue to the Koi's um, Ultramarine, Ultramarine is typically a pretty granulating color, so you'd actually get some similar effects. But the reds that Andrea is using are definitely going to spread more than the ones that I'm using. There, there you go. This is what I have so far. I am very heavy-handed with the pigment. Always. <laughs> Always. Like, Lacey gets nice, light watery watercolor and I get like the like I always I just that's just me I don't know yeah it kind of depends how how I think it's you know. just a personal preference and personal style too it's fine either way however yep. you so okay what are what's next when it's dry we want to come in and or dry ish we want to come in and add in a few more details so i do want to come in here and add a couple little light strokes just to kind of differentiate where this wing kind of is and mm -hmm. then also where maybe some of these feathers separate on the tail 
I'm going to do the same thing. Maybe even if you want to, you could add some texture. So this is where you get to make some choices. Like if you wanted to outline some of the bottoms of these little red spots, you could do that to kind of show where some of these individual feathers are on the wing. You could also come in and tap to add a little texture. I feel, I feel like you needed that for some reason. And I'm going to do the same thing kind of here. I don't know if he needed these bottom ones. I'm less happy with the bottom ones, but we're gonna go with it because I started. Now let's say, okay, let's say hypothetically you started doing something like that and you hate it. I can take away quite a bit of that with a little paper towel just by tapping that off. Oh, look, it's not as big of a problem anymore. Excellent. If there are any Simply Neological fans, it's not a problem. Oh. What is that? What is, what are you talking about? Simply Neological. She had a channel where she would do really silly. Um, I mean, she still has the channel, but she mainly does podcasts now. And, uh, but she does like silly nail stuff. Oh. All right. So next I'm going to add the beacon. You could add, make yours whatever color you want. I kind of feel like with the motif, this should be a black beak. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of some black color on my brush. And I'm going to place that primarily at the bottom here. Ooh. And then I'm going to wash my brush off a little bit so that I have more water than pigment in my brush. And then I'm going to kind of soften this up so that we get a little bit of differentiation. Now I've dropped in a little bit more water than I intended so I'm going to pick up a little bit of that with that drying the brush method and picking it off. And then I'm going to, again, dip in to some of the black color and just kind of put that along the bottom. I'm trying to create like a little bit of pseudo shadow at the bottom of this beak, just so it looks a little bit, since we kind of tried to make the bulbous areas pop out. I'm trying to do kind of a similar thing. And then I'm also going to put a little dot here because for some reason they always have that little like dot on their, their beak somewhere. My bird's beak is bumpy. It's a bumpy beak bird. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Uh, I was going to have an iced coffee before we started and I didn't because I was like, I'll be super shaky. It has happened anyway. So I got a bumpy beaked bird. Mine looks <laughs> nothing like Lacey's. Nothing. And I love that. Okay, so somebody says I don't have a black. That's totally fine. You can do this in a different color. You can also mix a black if anybody has like a phalo blue, which is kind of a green leaning blue. And then you have something like a vermilion. Those two colors make a great black and watercolor. We're also going to maybe come back in and touch these up with a little bit of pen details, too. So you have the option of doing that at that time as well. Okay. Instead I'm of that. I am going to rely heavily on my pen for this bird. I'm also going this to bird. fill in the eyeball. And I'm going to try to leave a little white space. If you don't leave a little white space, but you have a gouache pen, you can also... Are leave... you using a pen? Using a, or are you using paint for that? I'm using a I'm using paint right now, but you don't have to. Now, if you were wanting to, you could stop this kind of here and then wait for this to dry to add in the pen details. Um, but if you want to, and you look at a lot of birds around their eyes, they have this little like buffer zone around it. It's like they're oftentimes wearing like white mascara kind of around the eyeball area. So if you wanted to, you do have the option of taking like a really thin brush and kind of hinting to that here. You don't have to do that though. I'm going to wait and do my eyeball in ink, I think. Perfect. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's go back to our other one. I do not like this one as much. This one, this one is my, my trouble bird. Um, in order to try to kind of salvage this, this is drier now. It's not completely dry, but I'm going to try to go in with just a bunch of texture. I'm going to take some of this orange and I'm just going to kind of try to tap in, tap, 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 tap in um, some kind of like feathery-esque kind of textures. 
right here just because I feel like this will, I don't know. It's, this is, this is not my favorite one, but I feel like we can kind of fix him up a little bit. This, when you, if you post this on your YouTube channel, it's, it's going to be all of me with my big face close to my camera, trying to see the screen your side oh just no be, just be aware of that I'm it's sorry just... yeah we're learning guys we're learning how to do this together better yeah you know what on this one since he's so tropical rather than giving him a black beak let's also just take some of that yellow and let's i'm gonna pop a really bright yellow in for his beak color This 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 bird has it out for me. I feel like this is not my favorite one. I think I'm gonna I'm going all in. I'm gonna put a little green in there. I'm Ooh. gonna put a little blue in my beak. I think, um, cause yeah, this guy, this guy, wowza, wowza. <laughs> all right. Well, I feel like both of ours look kind of the same. All right, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do this off camera because I've got this so close here. I can't do this on camera, but I am going to quickly dry both of these so that I can add my pen details and then we can call these little guys good and start doing Andrea's one. Um, I, I do want to. Well, before I do that, I do want to slightly redeem myself. This one I think is going to be cute, but I do want to show you, I did all of these guys, this one here, and then I also did all of these are the beginnings of, of more of these. And then even these ones on this page, I did all of these using the same method. So it is possible to get um, better results than... <laughs> They're so cute. Then, then my one. They're so cute. I mean, listen, you don't, you didn't make the rules. The dice, the <laughs> dice made the rules. So, that's life, man. That's <laughs> that's that is life in the the streets. You know, you don't make up the rules. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I'm going to dry mine. If anybody's sensitive to noise, Andrea, do you need to dry either of yours? I do probably need to dry mine. Uh, I'm going to use my heat gun, which is not quite as loud as the um, same hair dryer was the word. I don't think, can we mute? Mm -mm. You can't mute. No, nope. either. Okay. That's why I just I give people a warning. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to dry mine, uh, too. So mute your phones, friends. Ready? Let go. This is what mine looks like. And this is the this is the crazy bird. This is the cuckoo bird. That oh, I, I think it, oh, I like it. And I like how you did your um, lines kind of like horizontally. Oh, <laughs> I feel like our second bird, both, both of them need to like be friends and just like go away. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the printing go away. Oh, boy. Okay. So, are I, we doing pen details now? Yeah, we're going to do pen details. Okay, but I want to address just a couple questions that I was able to see really quick. Um, there, There's somebody that says they want to see the, the list. I don't know if you're going to be able to see these. I'm going to have to post this. I'll post this later for you guys so, so that you can actually see this. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll do it as a story or something. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I will figure out a way to get you guys that list better um, since it's backwards and things. And then um, somebody else says, hold on, there was another question. Oh, there's a bunch of people saying they wish they could show us. I do wish you could show us. If you make a video and you tag us, we watch them. <laughs> I know it's, yeah, it's hard. That's, that's a tough one. So people do email me stuff sometimes. Um, they'll email me pictures. I I will be brutally honest. I don't see everything that I get tagged in anymore. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I do see every email that comes through. So there's that. I'm kind of the opposite. I'm bad at email, so it's um, it's easier for me to see stuff on social because I'm kind of like in the mindset of that. Yeah. Now, I want to talk about pin details here. We're going to be doing, I'm going to add these on and kind of bring these together. There's a whole bunch of different options you can do for pin details. So on some of these little ones I was doing initially, you can do kind of like a really um, limited kind of thing where if you want to fill in a lot of these details and just do the shapes of things with watercolor and then have the pen form the rest of the details, you can absolutely do that, like the little beaks and things like that. That's what we're gonna do on mine. Mine is mine is like mine is like beaks. You can go for full outlines too. So mine's you're gonna free have to outlines. kind of do this. What? Mine is gonna be full outlines, beginner <laughs> bird, relying heavily on the ink. So <laughs> all right, let me get this centered. This is hard for me my brain to figure out which way center is mm -hmm. i'm outlining my okay. cuckoo bird too i'm gonna give mine all even like a little line in here to kind of show the two different parts of his big old beak <laughs> oh this guy oh man Bye. we can outline the whole thing you can do it kind of lightly Or you can be more heavy handed with it. This is totally up to you. I'm also going to make sure I get this kind of like wire or branch in here. I'm going to make mine a wire. And I'm going to add in my little kind of feet here. He's just gripping on. Just adding in some little details. You can do these as much as you want, as little as you want. I mean, you could even get go crazy with something like cross hatching here if you wanted to do some like shading with with the pen. There we go. The, my I I outlined the whole thing. I did the eye with the pen. I like I did... yours. Hen's got a bumpy beak. <laughs> I like it. Okay. The only Thank instruction you. was for it to be large and dull, and it is. It is large and dull. It is large <laughs> and dull. His All right. tail did not come out brightly colored. Uh, but, you know. It's okay. Such is life. We can't all have brightly colored tails. All right. And then let's, should we try to salvage your other one or do we not care about the other one? <laughs> um, wow. That's tough. That's a tough question. What does everybody think? Do we, do we keep going on this other guy or do we, I, I feel like, I feel like adding pen details is going to help. We can, we can try. Somebody says um, start over. I kind of agree, but at the same time, we're, we're we need to do. Andrea is going to do a tutorial in a second, so well, mine is going to be crazy lame after 
this because mine is like uh, very simple, but it's all, it's all good. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. About no, you stuff. should not say okay. that. No, that's not good. I'm going to give him texture. That's yeah. I think um, mine is cute with like the exception of like his, his head. His head is just bizarre. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on with his, with his noggin. Okay. I feel like mine is cuter with the pen details. For yeah, sure. it's definitely cuter with the pen details. I just, um, <laughs> mine is lacking, like, it's lacking personality. Like, its head is just too, um, I don't know, nondescript. I'm giving him some hairs on his head. We'll see if that helps, maybe. I gave him a little pink cheek. I don't know, guys. I don't so, know. Somebody's asked me to put some of the other ones on the screen that I did when I was practicing. So if anybody wants like some ideas for maybe some possibly more successful ones, I'm going to put some of these on the screen now so that if you want to take some screenshots, you can. <laughs> hey, oh boy we've got a movie who's come to say hi so here's a couple oh. here's a couple more if you're doing screenshots every bird is cute in its own way <laughs> <laughs> that that's a mom person type person right there or a teacher something yeah, yeah. okay here's a couple more I feel yes. I I think I think our little parrot birds are definitely friends, and they definitely live. Look at them! They're like hello together. Hello. We should fly away and never come back. What do you say? Yes, oh let's go God. do that. Oh. Okay, there you go. There's birds. Toucan Sam. That's that's right. It's you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. That's, it's not, it's not bad. There's no bad art. It's, no, it's not bad, the, but it's not how I was hoping for it to turn out. <laughs> silly bird. Silly goose. That's not a goose. It's a toucan. All right. I, I, do really, to... I do like this one a lot, Lacey. I do like this one a lot. The, um, the first one. Yeah. I do, I do like it a lot. I think they turned out really cute. And I think it shows like how much detail you can get in to a painting without getting fussy about it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, somebody said mine is bad. I don't, th I don't believe that anyone's is bad. Yeah. No one's no. Is bad. None of these are bad at all. Like it, that's not, <laughs> we're, we're just practicing anyways. Like in practice can be good. It can be practice is neutral. Yes, agreed. Okay, so are we ready? Are we, are you all ready for this? Yeah, this I'm gonna I'm gonna switch mine back up in the the other direction. So if anybody has motion sickness, but this is really hard for me to try to manage downwards. We've learned something. We're going to join next time with it facing down. <laughs> yeah, but that's then how how I don't know. It's it's tough. This it's tough. Well, I, I um, will be joining next time with it down. Because <laughs> I don't I don't have any way to watch this other than like through the screen. So once I flip it, I can't see what's happening. Once I um Hi. Do you guys want to see my new painting that I'm working on? Is that yes. there? See that? That's you're the first to see it. Lacey's been helping me. Uh because I needed it. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about that one. So anyway. Uh, all right, guys. The, the lazy way is she gives great instruction. And the Andrea way is I don't know how to teach art other than in one minute TikToks. So you're going to get the... Um, you're going to get... The this way. And actually, my water is super dirty, so I'm going to take 
you guys to the I'm taking you to the bathroom and we're gonna we're gonna dump the water and are you doing that so you don't wet your pants yes I'm gonna get some fresh water <laughs> fresh water so I don't have a muddy bird I don't want a muddy bird so this is so sometimes people ask me what I do with the art that I make on the videos. Sometimes I hang it in my bathroom. <laughs> that one. Yeah. So it just depends. A lot of it is around my house. Like there's, there's those water Ooh. or uh, alcohol guys too. Yeah. So yeah, it's, there's, my house is a crazy, crazy place. Is that a Jack and Jill bathroom? Full of it's full of random stuff. Let's put it that way. Random. Um, okay. So here's the deal. If you haven't been here, Lacey did a bird tutorial. I am now going to teach you how to paint birds in a different way, but we can't flip. The camera won't flip on a dual live. So I'm going to have to just turn you around and hope that I can get you in the frame and Lacey you're gonna have to just direct me and yep. tell me like is it centered is it do I need to go higher or lower I'm not hang on I don't have it in the thing yet I'm gonna get the clamp attached to the desk and then hopefully I won't it won't just fall out okay so can you see it uh, right this now, you paper? just moved everything off of the screen a little bit. So take your paper and your paints and move them in the opposite direction that you just moved them. This way? Yes, a little more. A little more. A little more. And then maybe move, really? the, maybe move the paper up just a little bit. Perfect. Like that? Right in the center. Yes, Yay. the plan is to post this um, after this goes... If, if anybody wants to watch <laughs> this, I will be posting it Why, on YouTube. I, does anybody want to watch this? I don't know. <laughs> somebody I don't know. Asked. <laughs> somebody asked if they could watch it. Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, so here's the plan. All right. The plan for this bird is to do like very, very simple bird. <laughs> Perfect. And we're going to not do any details. We're just going to put paint down. And then we're going to do the details with our pen. And then I thought if we can get it dry, it might be fun to do a background on it. Okay. Um, because I think that makes it look kind of fun. That's not something I normally do. But, um, okay, so I want you to think about the shape of this bird as a pair. Okay. Okay, so everyone envision a pair, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to put down um, a okay. pear shape with water. Okay. okay. We're going to do one bird, right? Uh, yes, for now, we're just going to do one bird. We'll see if, we'll see if uh, we have time to do another one, or we may need to let this one we may need to let this one dry, but I'm just doing like a very kind of rough pear, pear shape in water. And then you just start putting in some colors. So I'm going to put in some orange up at the top. I'm dropping it. And guys, the guys who are on my feed, I can't see any of your comments. So you're going to have to be there for each other. Support each other in this endeavor. <laughs> uh, because I can't, I can't see it. So I'm going to switch I'm gonna away, so I'm using the same colors as you too. Or same. Uh, don't use yeah. this. You use whatever colors you want. Man. Well, I'm going to use whatever colors I want. But I want to use something that has similar effects. So I'm going to use a Koi palette. So. Okay. So we're just, we've got water on the paper and our paints are wet and we are just adding paint to our pear shape, okay? So I've done orange and blue. So my orange and blue are going to mix and they're going to make a kind of like brown, green, dirty, 
looking color, um, which I don't really mind for a bird. Like, I think it's a more natural, sometimes those kind of, um, uh, what, what would you call it? Like the, the complementary colors make sort of, um, a more earthy neutral. Yeah. A more earthy color that is sometimes nice. So I'm not also filling in the entire thing. You can see I've just left some white space. You can leave white space wherever you want. But a little bit of white space is nice. And if you want, you can always go in and drop in more of your colors if you want to make it more vibrant. Um, you can add more water to kind of spread it out if you want it to blend more. This is like, this is going to be like a, a very... Um, abstract almost kind of bird but this is our this is our our pear shape and now we're going to continue this right side or you could do the left side depending on your preference we're going to make this the tail so I've added a little bit of a darker blue we're going to make this the tail okay so this is going to come down again we're not we're not being precise. We're just, we're just um, adding like one little swoop. I'm trying to keep this really simple for people who maybe uh, are new to watercolor. So I'm also going to put a little bit of this dark blue down here at the bottom to just make it almost like a little shadow, but not really. So, Andrea, really quick, I want to explain because I think people might see me doing something weird that might actually be helpful. If you notice while I'm painting this, I'm doing this thing. Like I'm I'm tilting down. I might be picking up my page too. And that's because I can see how wet the page is. So I know if it's going to spread or if it's going to stay. And that kind of informs my decision on where I'm placing paint to. All right. Good tip. Good tip. Okay, so we gotta let we've gotta let this dry. Um, I'm actually gonna take my phone out of the thing and I'm gonna flip it around. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Um, so that I can <laughs> look back at the comments for a second and just see if anybody is asking me anything. Uh, people are saying they would rewatch the replay so that's good okay that's lovely Lacey I love it I love it okay so hi hi hello hi <laughs> greeting the people greeting the people are, are you um, channeling Kevin from the office hi <laughs> hi uh, and, <laughs> I mean if you could just give me a pot of chili right now um so I feel like we need this to dry before we add the pen details, but we're almost like out of time. So do we, do we do another simple bird like this while this one dries and we push this live longer or do we use the heat gun and just dry this and get the pen details on it? What do you guys want to do? Do we need to wrap it up like right now or do I'm, we do another? I'm okay with either. So. You're okay with, with either. Uh, I got, I got, let's see. Longer heat gun, longer, longer heat gun, longer heat gun. Another one. Keep going. More. I'm so invested. Like the majority on mine are saying longer as well. Okay. <laughs> okay. Longer, longer, longer. Okay. So let's do another. So we're going to do another one. So I'm going to, I got to flip, flip you around again, and I'm going to get a new piece of paper and we will do another little bird. I'm trying to decide which one. I have a couple over here that I um, did before, before you guys joined me. And I'm trying to think about which one will be the like simplest one. Okay, I think I know. I think I know. I'm, I'm flipping you around. Ready? <laughs> right. We're going on an adventure, guys. 
your back, your your flipped back around. All right, Lacey, am I straight or am I not straight? Uh, the paper needs to be more. It's it's hard to say this because I think it's also flipped for you. Yep, that's better. Push it towards the paint palette just a bit more. Maybe up a little bit more. That that's pretty much centered. <laughs> pretty much centered. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this bird, this one that we're letting dry that we just did is going to be kind of like looking up a little bit. Um, so let's try doing one. Um, I mean, I still kind of like the looking, I still kind of like the looking up thing. Let's try one that has a crest, like a, um, a oh, mohawk. Or a blue jay or something yeah. like that. So here's what I want us to do. Let's grab um, let's grab some black. Can you I don't know if you can can you see what's what I'm doing in my pan here? Barely, barely, barely. Okay. So I've grabbed a little bit of black here and I've just put it here and I'm adding some water into it because when you pull black straight from the pan it's going to be like really really intense so we want to water that black down just a little bit and then we're going to take our brush and we're just going to swipe it up like this okay can you see that mm -hmm. and now from, you can see where it's got this kind of line right here. We're going to bring this part back down to make kind of like the back of his head. Okay. Okay. Now I want to get another color. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow ochre into my black to get sort of a brownish, grayish color. And I'm gonna leave a little space right here uh, cause I'm gonna add the beak in right there. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little wing here, okay? And I'm gonna connect this wing up to his head. So you can see he's going to be looking over his shoulder, right? So his, his beak is going to go right here. His eye is going to go over here. This is a wing. And then we're going to have his tail come out behind him. So he's looking over his shoulder at his tail. So now we can either use that same color or I'm going to add a little bit of blue into it just to get a little bit of a variation. And I'm gonna make his little tail back here. And I'm even gonna drop some of this blue in up here to kind of, we're just gonna kind of tie that all in together. And now I think the little titmouse birds have orange on them. I'm just going to fill in this back space here with a little bit of orange. So this one, he's a little bit more, a little bit more complicated than the other one that we did. So hopefully that doesn't put you guys off, but it's basically just like a triangle for the crest, then part of a circle here, another circle here, and a line down. I just kind of did it in sort of random order, but uh, that is that is where we're at. So hopefully you guys you guys kept up with that. Um, so now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to this gray that I made, and I'm just going to get a, a very very light gray. And let's just put his beak in. So his, his beak's going to come kind of out like this. And it connects to the crest. And I'm going to take just a little tiny bit 
of the black straight from the pan. And I'm going to touch right where the beak connects to the crest. I'm just going to touch that with the black to make a little dark spot. Because they have kind of a little dark spot right there. And if the shape of your bird is not perfect, it's not looking exactly like you think it should look, don't panic because we're going to add the pen details in and you can correct so much with the pen. So much. So if it looks a little wonky right now, that's okay. Just, just go with it for right now. So this is our little titmouse at the, at the moment. This is what, this is what he looks like. Um, we're also going to give him some little feet here and we're going to have him sitting on a branch. We'll do the other one with a background. We'll do this one sitting on a branch. So let's put a branch in right here and you can use whatever color you like for your branch. I'm going to take some of the same gray um, and I'm just going to swipe it right there. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of blue to the bottom because it's just going to make it look more interesting. And I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow ochre that I added to my, to my gray. And I'm going to put a little bit of that in there too, up at the top of the branch. And we're going to just let those colors kind of mix. You can kind of bring your brush down from the top part of it to just connect the two a little bit. Um, but this is, this is an abstract branch, so it can look like, it can look like whatever. There we go. So now this guy has to dry too. Um, my first, my first bird that we worked on is not quite dry. So I'm going to hit it with the heat gun for just a second. Lacey, how's yours going? I can't see it, but hello. Hello. Sorry, I had my hair dryer on too. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I can't see you, so I didn't know. How's it going? <laughs> it's good. I think it's good. I think it's good. Here, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll show the camera mine too, so they can see a little better. Here's what I have so far. Got my two I'm little trying to look. I can't see it. I can't see it. Okay, okay. so here's here's what we're going to do. We're going to add pen details. Okay. Now, I am using a brush pen, but you can use any kind of pen for this. You could use a Sharpie. You could use a Micron pen if you've got one of those. But um, it... it I guess my brush pen is a micron pen too, but uh, whatever, whatever you have will be fine. Here's what I want you to know about this process. Okay. I'm you ready. don't need to be trying to make straight lines. Crooked it's going to look better, not crooked, but like <laughs> sketchy. I'm, I'm into the sketchy lines. Okay. I like, I like them to, instead of trying to like perfectly outline the bird, I want it to be expressive. I want okay. to show some differentiation in the line weights and like be free with your, with your pen work. That's what I'm saying. So um, all that being said, we are gonna start with the beak. And I'm going to have my bird kind of facing up this way. So I'm going to put his little beak in here. And again, not like 
precise. It doesn't have to um, be any certain shape or width. Like this is a made up, this is a made up bird. You know what I mean? So there's my little beak. And once I get the other details added in, I might mm -hmm. decide that his beak looks a little bit too small. I may change it up a little. You never know. For his, um, for his eye, with birds, their eyes are like very close to the same plane as their beak. So if you put the, if you put his eye up here, he's going to look weird. Their eyes are like, they're low. They're low to the beak. Does that make sense? Kind, you know of. What I mean? kind of. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. So the beak, you can see the beak is right here. So we want his eye to be just slightly above where the beak is on his head. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circle. Okay. And I'm going to fill the circle in and you can leave, you can leave a highlight for the eye if you want to, or you can add that back in with the white pen at the end. But this is where I'm at. Then I always add a little like wing on either side when I do bird eyes. So that's, what do you mean by a wing? I couldn't really see that on the screen. If you can bring that closer. Just like winged eyeliner. Okay, like got it. A little, a little wing on either, either end of it. Um, okay. The other thing that I've found with doing pen details is it's best to let your pen dry before you try to put the micron pen mm -hmm. or the paint pen on top of it because a lot of times it won't take like it just won't it just won't do it so we're gonna let this dry this is not our final this is not our final like what he's gonna look like um and we're gonna start outlining the bird you might want to bring your paper up a little bit you're starting to go out of frame on the bottom is that better yes okay so we're gonna start outlining the bird again we are not we are not trying to be precise. We're just adding lines to him. And if you, I'm gonna move my paint actually. Um, if you don't like a shape that's happening, like now is the time to kind of fix that. So he's gonna have a wing over here and he's got the tail. So I kind of just sketch in a wing. Again, abstract, abstract bird, guys, not, not real bird, not real bird. Um, and then I'm going to add his little, his little tail in, and I'm going to give him some long legs. And his little feet are going to just be three little lines with some little, like, kind of hooks on the end for his little nails. And there he is. That's the bird. Guys, I made a bird. And this bird. is it. Bird. That's my bird. Um, then you can go in with the Micron pen. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this and you I always do a little line at the bottom and then a dot and sometimes it's too much white and I will go back with my black pen and kind of cover up just a little bit of that white to make it not quite so intense so you can always fix your mistakes that's what I love about it. If you if you do too much, you can fix it. So there's there that's what his eye looks like. That's what my bird's eye looks I'm like. I'm gonna suggest now that you've shown the one that you just turn it back around and maybe try to kind of show what you're doing so that you can see because it's starting to go off screen a bit. What do you mean, turn it around? Like, let's let's see your face and watch you sketch on the next one. 
Well, you're not going to be able to see anything if I if you <laughs> face. You won't be able to see anything. Okay. All right. Fair. Yeah. Can you see him now? Yes, I can see him now, though. Okay. So there. So there he is. Very so, cute. Um, if you want to add a background to this guy, let's say what color would look good with him, Lacey? What do you think? For the background. Hmm. Yellows or greens, maybe? Okay, let's do yellow. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to So real quick though. You're going to add a background. Are you going to be touching the pen details? Because, like, I used a pen that is not waterproof. So if you're using a pen that was not waterproof, don't touch the pen. (laughs) Don't touch the pen. If you don't want to do a background, if you're nervous about it, then don't do a background. I just kind of wanted to show that it can be fun to add a background. Um, yeah, but she's right. If you if if your pen is not waterproof, then be very careful not to get too close or it will it will run. But I'm not I'm not planning to get like super duper close. This is just kind of a sketchy version of a bird. to try to add a background in. Oh, I touched the pen. It has been. You touched it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I got a little bit of blue in my yellow, but it's all right. We're not worried. Everything's going to be fine, right? It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I just think... um, just think sometimes adding a background is like the hardest thing in the world no I just think (laughs) it's so fun I was gonna say I think it's so fun because I think it's sometimes the hardest part yeah so there's there's that little bird kind of abstract pear-shaped pear-shaped bird All right, let me flip you guys back. Whoa, let me flip you back to my face and we will see if there are comments. I suspect a lot of you are, this is my little phone thingy. Uh, I did want a pink background. I did, it's all right. My friend said yellow. Oh, it's so cute. So see, Lacey made her background like swirly. Thank you to the person said, I cannot see your comments. Yeah, I can't see. Apparently, for those who are just joining us, when you do a dual live, you can't flip your, you can't flip your um, camera. So we're having to work without being able to see the mm-hmm. comments, which is difficult. So something to know uh, going forward. All right. Do you guys want to see the pen details on the other one? Yeah. Your bird ended up pregnant. Nice. I'm sorry about that. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Okay. Okay, So I'm going to flip you around again. And Lacey will have to, where's my little, my little, this bird. All right, Lacey. Bring it over. Can you see the bird? I can see the bird. It's a little off center. Uh, move it in the opposite direction where you keep your paints. Oh, oh! I meant the bird, not the camera. <laughs> Sorry, I can't there really hear you. I'll go ahead, say it again. Uh, if you move it up a little bit and then towards your paints, that's pretty good. Right there. Okay. Okay, we're just going to do this one super quickly. Um, basically, we're just going to outline the bird. So we're going to give him his little beak here and he's got like a little line for his mouth oh he's gonna look uh, kind of angry his beak kind of comes back this way 
We'll see if we can make him look a little happier there. Um, and then the same thing like with the eye. I'm going to keep his eye pretty close to pretty close to his beak. I may have made this one a little bit too high. So I've got the little wings on the side and then we'll add the highlight in there too. Um, they kind of have like little feathery bits up by their nose and then just sketch in around your paint. He's also got a wing over here, so you can kind of give the idea of a wing and connect underneath his body. And then I got a little crazy there with my brush pen, but that's okay. So we made his tail kind of long. Um, I kind of like to do like some little ideas of feathers back here too. And his feet, bird feet. So his little feet are just going to be like two little lines, like his little toes hanging on to the branch. And I think the only um, thing besides his eye that I would probably change and if, you're, if your pen is not waterproof, you can't do this. But I don't think I got my beak quite dry enough, or dry enough, quite dark enough. So I'm going to darken up his beak a little bit. Um, if your pen is not waterproof, it's probably going to be fine to even do this, even if it's not, because it's going to be black that bleeds in. Um, so it would probably be okay. But... And then I do his little, the little water line and a dot. And I got it too, too much highlight. So I'm just going to use my black pen to take the highlight down just a little bit. That's it. That's the little, the little tufted tit mouse. That's what he looks like. Very cute. I, I think I did my tail and my head backwards on that one, but I still like him. I No, I don't think you did it backwards. Uh, what kind of pen was I using? Okay, the brush pen was a Micron pen mm -hmm. that I got in like a pack of 10. Um, they're pretty uh inexpensive when you buy like a multi-pack and then the white pen is a white jelly roll pen these are like you can get these at like walmart in like a five pack uh somebody's yeah. asking me can i show it the uh, one of us are kind of i don't know can show a screenshot because they want to get an outline i think they mean this one if you mean a different bird let me know so the first bird that we did was just mm -hmm. pear, like a basic pear shape with a um, tail. And then he's looking up. Lacey, I love yours. Yours has a lot of personality, I feel like. <laughs> you could add a hat. Somebody said you could add a hat. We could. We could add a hat. And then this was the other one. Yes. There you go. That's the two birds. Two birds for me and two birds from Lacey. Yep. And you can see that like totally different totally different styles. <laughs> Both great. I do like this big round bird. <laughs> yeah. I do. I feel like it'd be very satisfying to just like cup in your hand. It's like I said, I think you need two hands for that, but yeah. Two hander. <laughs> yeah. I feel like my, I'm going to add some um, 
some yeah. splatters. If you guys follow me, you know I splatter just about everything. But I'm just going to grab some green and some water. And then when I splatter stuff, people ask me, I get comments all the time that are like, how do you splatter? I literally just brush and go like that. Mm -hmm. That's and sometimes it does get on the thing that I painted. And sometimes it's, it adds cuteness. <laughs> and sometimes I wipe off. <laughs> but um, yeah, like he, there's a little bit in the white that I don't want. I just dab it. But that's how you splatter. So All right. that's another option for like finishing out a painting. If you just aren't sure what to do with it, splatters mm -hmm. can be nice. You guys are very welcome. Yeah. All right. Lacey, what do you got for the rest of the day, buddy? What are you doing? What am I doing for the rest? Well, I decided last night to reorganize our living room, so I need to finish that. Some people want to see them again. So there's, there's that one. And there's that one. There you go. And then there's this one and this one. <laughs> this one, I'm so sad about this. <laughs> Many. Don't be sad about it. No. Um, That's all right. See, guys, even if you paint all the time, sometimes things aren't going to work out how you wanted them to. And that's totally fine. It's true. Somebody's asking us what's next. What's the next? No. My hair is stuck in my glasses. Oh, That's oh. uncomfortable. What's next, Lacey? I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to be talking about gradients and some mixing stuff. I think actually on, so for my next week live, I do lives every other week. And me and Andrea for the month of watercolor month, we're kind of dropping in a few extra ones. Um, but I think next week I might be doing a color mixing class because I'm getting a bunch of questions on that. And that's really hard to explain in 60 seconds. So I think a nice slide would be good for that. Yeah, I'll probably do that. So I don't do lives a lot because I'm at the art market like every Saturday. Mm -hmm. Saturdays are usually the best time for people. And Sundays I've kind of set aside as like when I paint the things that I want to paint, um, not for social media. Mm -hmm. So. So yeah, so but next weekend I will be doing the market, but maybe the next weekend uh, we could try to do it again. I guess at that point it'll probably be wrapping up. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of crazy. Um, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I will repost this as long as TikTok downloads it. Um, and then, yeah, if you, anybody wants to tag us or whatnot, We'd love to see. I know that Andrew doesn't see everything, but I see most everything. So yeah. So Lacey has a Lacey has a YouTube channel, so she's gonna add mm -hmm. this to her YouTube channel. And I think I think what I will do is um, paint this one again and do a TikTok that runs through how to paint. Would you guys? Let me ask you. Would you rather this one or this one? If I do a video for it, which one would you like? Pear bird or the little titmouse? Um, her, so Lacey's TikTok is Rebel Unicorn Crafts. Mm -hmm. um, That's it's the same for everything across all my socials. So, yes, everybody's saying the pear bird. Okay, so the so I will. I will film this one probably today and get it posted today so that you guys will have it. Um, I would say it's leaning a little more towards the, the titmouse one on mine for oh, both. <laughs> well, may, I may do both of them. I'm only going to do one in the video for today because people's attention span is yes. too short. Yes, yes. Too short for two birds. But, um, but yeah, I'll do this one today so that you guys have it. And then maybe I'll do this one later in the week. Um, but yeah, somebody asked me what market. The market is in Marietta, Georgia. Um, it's every Saturday. I skipped this week because last week I thought I was going to die. 
because it was so hot. Yeah. Um, and I was feeling burnout. So I was like, I'm going to take a week off and I'll do a live with Lacey. And then it rained all morning. So I was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it was the right choice. So, um, but I will probably do it next week because I got to make that, I got to make that, that dough. So. <laughs> yeah yeah all right how much of the year does the market run it runs all year it never ends it never ends that market so yeah october i will be out there in october there's somebody that's a noonan resident hello <laughs> i was just in noonan day before yesterday working at the rocket fizz so yes all right lacy lacy's uh, YouTube channel is Rebel Unicorn, just like everything else. So uh, it normally takes a little while before TikTok will give you access to your live replay. So maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I try to do it. Try. It kind of depends to how, how it downloads. Sometimes it just like takes me four or five times to try and to download it for the long ones. I've got to like leave my phone open and I don't know, whatever. I get yeah, this was easily. <laughs> It'll be, yeah, it's a lot, but okay. All righty. Thank you All guys right. for joining us and we'll, we'll see you soon. Or I know I will see you soon. <laughs> yes. Okay. Me too. Okay. Right. Bye. bye.